Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you guys, you know, how I'm going to make two lures from this butter knife. See this? It's a butter knife, you know. And after you see this video, you know, I don't want you to go into your grandmother's kitchen or your mother's kitchen and take out the knives and the spoons, you know, and make any lure with them, you know. Buy your own knife and spoon and whatever you want to use with a knife, spoon, butter knife, anything. But this is a butter knife, right? I paid $21 for this. So I'm gonna use it and show you how I'm gonna make two lures to catch fish. Alright, so let's get to started. First of all, we're gonna need a clamp, a pliers, hook. We're gonna need two hooks because we're making two bait, two lures to make it. We're gonna need a drill, a one eight bit, oxaw to cut this bait here, to cut this knife. We're gonna cut this knife, we're gonna have to cut it in two, right? So let's get started. First thing you do now is to cut this lure. <clears throat> Alright? First thing we're going to do is cut this knife in two. Alright, so we're going to cut it. You have to clamp it down because I don't have a vise right now. Alright. I have this template that I made from a piece of paper. So we're going to use it as a guide. Alright, so we're going to mark where we're going to cut it right there. That's where we're going to cut it. Make sure your axle blade is sharp enough. Alright, so that's what we have. We have one here. We have one more here. One, two. Alright, so we're going to have to cut this now. So I'll make some mark on this one here. We're going to have to cut it and shape it out round. Make it look like a bait fish. Alright? So we're going to have to cut here again. Right there and there, and then we'll shape it with the sandpaper. Hold it down and cut it. So we're going to have to cut it right there. Cut it again. So we shape it in the spoon, you know. Alright, so that is it. So this is where we use the sandpaper now. I'm going to round this up. Make it look like a bait fish. All right, next step. Next step now is to bore it. We're going to use this part to make a, a, a load, you know, this part. We're going to use this part to make a heavy load. This is about two pounds. That's so we that. want this one to that when we cast out, we can get the distance out of it. This is, is what the angle part of the knife? Um, yeah, man. The knife? There. Okay. All right. Here. This is the handle. Yeah. This is the blade. This one, this part is lighter. This is heavy, so we can throw this out like all in a jack beat or you know when the fish far out. So we're going to use this one to to make a look. All right. So this now we're going to have to bore this, right? We're going to have to bore this with the drill right here. So we can bore it right at the front here. Right at the front. Yeah, this is where we're going to put the, the ring to, to attach the leader. Alright, there's a hole to attach the leader. 
and then you're going to need to bore right here right along the back here this is where the hook going to come enter through to install the hook right there so you're going to bore it out and take it out piece by piece To get out all of this middle piece so we have to go hold this with us with the pliers be careful we have to hold this and then So you have to hold it. You have to hold it, you know, okay? If you don't hold it, mash it down. Alright. Oops. Bend it right at that mark. All right, so this is where this coming in now. You know, this is what we're going to use. We're going to use this this thing here to bend this lower. All right, so can put it right here, so. Let's see if I can get a good view. Yeah, let's see people can see what's up. Yeah. All right, see that? This is how it should supposed to bend. Yeah. All right. kind of too, too much bend inside, I'll take out a little bit, put more of the bend up this side. Oh. When you bend it like that, it's supposed to get um, the bait to swim good, right? Yeah. Just it's a like good a action fish. like a fish, a bait fish, a stunted bait fish. Right. Alright, so. Very good. You're going to need to bore it one more time. Bore it right here one more time. To hold the hook in place. Alright, so you need a little nut and bolt like this to install the hook. Right? That's where you go now like this. That's right there. And then you screw this down. And that's it. We're going to just cut this off shortly. Alright guys, so look at that. Mm. Wow, it's ain't not bad. <laughs> it's called a spoon bait. Spoon and bait. We have to use this and catch fish, you know. 
we're going, when we carry this boat back to sea, right? We're going to hook up a fish and show you guys. Alright. You hear the boss? Yes, man. That's the man. Right. Well confident, so, you know. Yeah, man. So this is the ring now we're going to put at, at the front here. So we have our ring here, so we just put the ring. The ring right here. This is where we're going to attach the line. Attach the leader. Wow. These things are hard to put on, is it? What the hell? Here. You normally twist the ring like this to get it close. Twist it like this first. Twist it on the wrong side. And then you twist it back on the right side like that. So in other words, when the ring stretch, stretch out. Stretch out, you just fix it back like that. See, it's close now. Right here, close. Yeah. So this is it. Finished product. This is the finished product. Mm -hmm. Which is a spoon bait. No! Bad. <laughs> See there? This is a spoon bait. Must work. Yes, man. Must work. Alright, so we're going to try to use this one and make something with it, alright? So, what I'm going to do is bore one hole here and one hole there. And give it a little twist. And then... So that you can have a little action in the water when you pull it, it spin a little bit or twist up a little bit or something. So that the fish can grab it when they feed it. Oh, and that is the angle part, right? Yeah, the angle part of the, the bait, the, 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 the knife. Okay. Right, so we're going to bore it right here. This is one of the hole. Hot, it's hot, man. I have to hold it. And this one is good for jack beat, right? Yeah, man, jack beat. Make sure the jack's feeding. Just, just cast out this one in there, you know. You must get a hook up. You know, we're going to prove these, these, uh, that these baits work, that these lures work, you know. We're going to prove them that they work. It is kind of hot, you know, so you can hold it hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, hot. All right, so this one now, you will need to give it a little twist. So that is where we're going to use this. Yeah, that comes in again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we don't have a vice, so we're going to have to twist it in this. Right here, so after bed, now you know. Watch, yeah, man. It's after bed, beautiful. That's yes, man. I'm give it another bend right here. Boss give you a perfect bend. <laughs> yeah, you see Must this work. <laughs> Must swim good enough. You see this now? Must swim good now. So when you put on the hook on. onto this one, you must get a good action. Alright, let me show you. I'm gonna put the hook right down here. You know so you know, I think it, it would work better with a treble hook. Yeah. What do you think? Yes man. Yeah, I think it works better. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change it to a treble hook later on. But for now, we're just putting on this hook here. You know, just putting on this hook for the time being. But I think a treble hook would be better. But just giving you an idea, this is what we're looking for. This is what we're, going, we're trying to, to accomplish. 
all right guys so this is what we made from the the, the knife the butter knife all right yeah two lures and these lures we can prove that them work one of these days you see us hooking up jackson maybe snook or kingfish or something with these lures but just showing you guys that you know you can be creative and make something out of anything that's shiny all right guys if you like this video shoot us a thumbs up comment down below and as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.